Hello Wolfpack, Captain Tiger Lily here, and we are back with the next Captain's Log, number this one. <laughs> um, I want to start this off by saying thank you guys so, so much for being patient with me through all of the bad crap that I've been dealing with, and I appreciate it so, so much that all of you guys are here and willing to put up with my inconsistent terribleness. So, on to the good things that have been happening lately for me. Um, I have been learning to play guitar, which is something that I sort of kind of knew how to do before because I can sing and I was in choir through all of high school, well, pretty much from like elementary school to graduation. <laughs> and I've been, pretty much music has been a big part of my life, my entire life. So, and I always wanted to learn how to play an instrument. But the problem with that is that I can't read music. I've tried, I have done everything I can possibly think of to teach myself how to read music and I just can't do it. I can't. I have pushed and pushed and pushed and it just doesn't happen so I'm like fine we're gonna figure out how I can play an instrument where I don't have to read music. Guitar. <laughs> so I have been learning to play guitar tabs and it's actually not as hard as I thought it was going to be. The problem is the st I have short fingers. I have short tiny fingers and playing a full-size guitar makes it very, very hard for any of these fingers to reach all the way across the guitar to the sixth string. It's really hard to do. So a lot of times I have to mess with it and hold the first five strings with these four fingers and then use my thumb on the other one. So my chords probably look really weird. It's fine. It works and the sound is exactly the same, so I'm gonna go with it. So I've been doing that a lot, so you may or may not, depending on if I can figure out how to record the audio for it, you may hear some acoustic covers coming in the next few months. I'm hoping to have a couple of them out before August, because my birthday is in August, so. Um, I do plan to get a couple of those done. Also coming soon, I did talk about it, there will be a couple of cover songs that have to do with one of the games I'm playing right now. You guys will see that when it comes out. I'm trying to work with some audio bits. It's just really hard because you can hear the ticking of the clock. You can hear my fan. You can hear the air conditioner and the water heater from right there. So we have a lot of sound that I'm trying to balance out and not be heard in the background. So basically what I have to do is put a blanket over my head and the microphone, which gets really hot because it's June. So it's going to be great. I'm either going to come out of it sweating like I just ran a marathon or it's going to sound like crap. We're going to see what happens. So, um, moving on from that, I have been watching a couple of different TV shows. Um, right now, the three main ones that I've been watching, uh, one is an anime, one's a comedy sitcom, and the other is just one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, sorry if I'm talking really, really fast. I'm just trying to get all of the information out of my brain before I forget it. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to start with the anime, and I've been trying to catch back up on Fairy Tale because I love fairy tale. I just love the idea of the story. I love the characters. I love that it's so over the top that it's just a fun ride. Like who cares about the logic and how things would actually work? I don't care about that. I have a pretty pretty good suspension of disbelief when it comes to fantasy and sci-fi stuff. So that gets even more exponential when I'm watching anime because it's anime. Stuff gets weird in anime and you just go with it. <laughs> so I've been watching that a lot. Um, the next one you guys may or may not have heard of depending on where you live and how into um, Canadian slash Korean TV you are. Um, I've been watching a Canadian sitcom called Kim's Convenience and uh, it is about a Korean family who moved from Korea to Canada and the parents opened up a convenience store and it's about the mom and dad up on Uma's life together. It's about their daughter Janet, their son Jung and his friends at the uh, car rental place that he works at, uh, Kimchi who he is his roommate and his love interest Shannon who also happens to be his boss. It's, it's just so much ridiculousness. And I have become obsessed with that show. Four seasons, they are on Netflix, depending on where you live. I know for a fact that it is in Netflix in the US and Canada, and I think it's in the UK, 
I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. I would have to look it up, but considering I'm in the States, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I've been watching that. I watched through <laughs> all four seasons three times because <laughs> I loved it that much. So I would highly, highly recommend you go check that out. Uh, last but not least, definitely not least by any means, uh, is one of my favorite fantasy shows I have ever watched. And if you guys know me, you know I love a good fantasy anything. So I have been watching the TV show Grimm, which is six seasons. It ended in 2017, I think, 2017 or 2018. I can't remember. Um, but I've watched, I've watched it before multiple times. I just really, really like the show. And it's one of those that even if I watch it multiple times through, I don't really get bored of it. So... I know you can find that on Amazon Prime. Uh, it might be on Netflix. I'm not sure. I've been watching it on Amazon Prime, so there's that. But to be fair, when they took it off Amazon Prime for a while, I just ended up buying all six seasons. <laughs> so, because I loved it that much, and I didn't want to get to a point where I'm like, oh, I want to watch Grimm, and then I can't. So, um, but a few of the main actors in that one are uh, David Gentoli. He's from... St. Louis. Um, he's actually one of my favorite actors. Who else is in it? Bitsy Tulloch, uh, Claire Coffey, Sasha Ruiz, I think that's how you say his name. Reggie Lee's in it. There's a lot of really good actors in this one. Uh, Silas Weir Mitchell is in it too. He's one of the leads and he was in Prison Break. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of really, really good actors in that one. And just for the acting alone, not leaving out the whole fantasy element of it. Just for the acting alone, I would watch this show multiple times. So, highly recommend Grimm as well. Um, a couple other things that I've been doing around here is um, I normally have these little string lights that go around my room. And I had one that went across from that back corner up there all the way across to the other side of the room just to light up that back wall. And last week, it finally the whole string just, and I went, oh man, thankfully I had a backup plan. So now I have strings of lights that go overhead across the beams. So there's about five rows and it lights up my room pretty well. So I'm happy with it. I probably am going to get one more string of lights just to go around the outer edge of the room. But it was, God, I can't even remember how many, I think it was like, 200 feet or something like that no it wasn't 200 feet 120 feet yeah it was 120 feet of lights so it wasn't too bad and I could snake it across the room pretty well so I just want to get enough to line the outside of the room like I had last thing I think I've been doing around here is I actually have been pretty up on my skincare regimen which is something I never actually had before um, I didn't really have like a routine anything, just I would wipe off my makeup with a, uh, what are they called, micellar, whatever, face wipe, the Burt's Bees one, I don't know, just whichever one I grabbed from the store, and I would use that to wipe off my makeup, and then I would put on like a moisturizer, and now I actually have like a cleansing routine that I do, and I did not know that was the thing I was ever going to be into, but it feels nice, so... And that and with me having so many skin problems it's really hard for me to find any kind of skin products that aren't going to aggravate my eczema and the psoriasis on my neck so it's been it's been a challenge but I can tell you one right now is I've been using this one a lot I don't know if you can see that it's the Burt's Bees uh, ultimate care body lotion with baobab oil for very dry skin and I use that on my palms especially when I'm crocheting or playing guitar just because my hands get really dried out and I don't want them to crack so last thing that I've been doing to keep myself entertained while I've been stuck in the house and unable to go anywhere for the last two months is I've been playing I don't have a switch but everybody was playing Animal Crossing and I felt left out so I've been playing New Leaf just because I wanted to play and um, I obviously you guys know that I love Pokemon and I used to have a Pokemon Heart Gold game that I had almost completely filled the National Pokedex for and someone stole it long time ago 
and I was so pissed off that I didn't want to get another one. So I finally, about a year ago, broke down and got a new Pokemon Heart Gold, and I'd never played it. So I went through, and at the beginning of all this, oh, excuse me, I restarted whatever was saved on there from whoever owned it last, because it was a pre-owned one, I didn't really care. And um, I restarted and about I'm about halfway through it, but I've been taking my time and trying to catch as many Pokemon as I can and have enough built up so that I can do the wonder trade to get Pokemon from other regions after. So, because I'm not one who likes to cheat, even though I have an action replay, I'm not going to use it. I don't like doing that. So... Anyway, that has been the chaotic weirdness that is my life the last two months. Thankfully, I will be back to work starting next week teaching classes and doing camps. So it'll be, it'll be nice to get back into work and do those things. So let me know what you guys have been doing down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys have been doing to keep yourself occupied during quarantine. And now that the world has started to open back up, what are you guys looking forward to doing the most? I personally am just looking forward to getting back into going to work. <laughs> I miss going to work. I miss my jam sessions on the way to work and on the way home from work. I listen. I miss listening to my audiobooks in the car because I just don't like listening to them in the house. So I'm excited to get back into my zombie podcast. So if you guys like this video, hit the like button down below, and if you guys have not already, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell, that way you guys get notified when my new videos go live. Tomorrow will be a new episode of The Wolf Among Us, and there should be Portal, Raft, and then Pokemon after that. So, look forward to that, and I will let you know if any of that is going to change between now and when Pokemon comes out, just because there's a lot of editing that I have to do for those three particular ones before that. Pokemon's usually not a difficult edit for me. So, um, that being said, this is Captain Tiger Lily, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!